Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Francis and Talk Reacts. And we are back with Be My Servant Part 8. This is where it gets nuts. When we last left you off, we left you off where Gia is starting started to fall in love with Infinite, her master. And now they're on their way back to the palace. What happens then? Well, we're about to get into it. But before we head back to the palace, I would like you to make sure to hit that like, subscribe, enable your notifications, and make sure to drop a visit to Gia the Dark Angel. She deserves all the visits. All right, let's get into Be My Servant Part 8. It starts right now. At the palace, you are taken to his private quarters, and it's a lush and luxurious room, and he, there, he places you gently onto his bed. You are now in his palace, and you are now in his mercy for the rest of your life, and he's enjoying every last second of this experience. Next day as I wake up, hmm. Oh, I love the GS new profile picture here. I love it. In the morning, you wake up to an incredible surprise. You wake up to an, find yourself in a bedroom that can be described as luxurious with a large canopy bed in which you are currently laying in. On the wall, you see a wall covered in plush toys. And... And on your bed, right next to you, you find Infinite, laying right next to you. He is asleep right next to you. He has his arm around your shoulder. Gia blushes and thinks to myself, is this his room? Infinite is sound asleep, and he is extremely peaceful. He looks happy when you see his face again. You see his cruel, sadistically, sadistic grin. And you can tell that is even in his peaceful rest. He is still, he is still smiling evilly. Even in peace, he is sadistic. Even his peaceful state, he gives us a menacing energy. He is simply infinite. His presence alone is enough to scare you and give you goosebumps, even when he is resting. Infinite is infinite, everybody. He always sleeps with his mask on, in my opinion, yep. To your surprise, yes, he always sleeps with his mask on. Even when he sleeps, he still has a sadistic grin on his face. His eyes are still covered. Even when while he sleeps, his face stays exactly the same. His sadistic grin stays exactly the same. Even when he sleeps, he remains sadistic. Flushes and sees him sleeping and turns away. Infinite remains calm and sleeps peacefully as you look over him. Even in sleep, even in peace, his sadistic grin still stays exactly the same. His eyes are so covered, his presence still so menacing. You can tell that he's dreaming. Even though you cannot see his eyes, you can sense that he is staring right at you. Even in sleep, even in peace, even in the midst of the most peaceful of rest, he is still simply infinite. Infinite remains completely still as he moved. He never even woke up. He, he remains as he was, in complete peace, 
in the midst of a sadistic and murderous dream. He remains at peace, peace, as his sadistic grin remains on his face. Even as he sleeps, no one can disturb his peace. No one can affect him. He is simple unless he lets them. He is simply infinite. Felt sudden pain, Gia felt sudden pain in my heart. Infinite never feels her pain, neither emotional nor physical. He remains asleep in his bed as his sadistic grin remains. Even in peace, even as he sleeps, his mind, his soul, his heart, he is peaceful. He is at peace. He is the one who is truly at peace. As his grin remains sadistically, as he dreams his murderous, sadistic, sadistic dream. Hmm. Evan begins to wake up soon, and his eyes open. You see something rather interesting. Even though half his face is covered in a black, gold-like mask, you can tell that his eyes are even growing a bright red. Even in the darkness of the room, you can see his growing red eyes, even sleeping, even when he is vulnerable. Even at his most peaceful, if infinite is still simply infinite. Gia covers her neck and gets nervous. Infinite notices your nervousness as he is now fully awake. He stares at you with his growing red eyes, staring down at you with his same sadistic, evil, Gold like mask covering his face. He is still smiling. His grin is even wider now, as his sadistic eyes are growing ever brighter. He looks away and goes under covers. Infinite watches you as you cover yourself in the blanket. He then lets out at a sadistic laugh. Your fear pleases and satisfies him immensely as his eyes continue to grow red while he enjoys your nervousness and fear. A sadistic, cruel smile now grows even wider. Ah, it seems I made you very very uneasy, hmm? His sadistic smile then turns into a sadistic grin as his eyes glow red brighter. Throws a pillow at him. Stop staring at me like that. He and Gia blushes, going under the cover of the blankets. Infinite sees the pillow being thrown at him. He doesn't take it very well at all. He is extremely annoyed as his sadistic smile turns into a sadistic grimace and his eyes glow red more out of annoyance now. He will not take this disrespect. No, he will not. Gia just did something horrible. Ah! Do you think you really are in a position to order me around, my dear? He is extremely angry now, and you can tell this. His glowing red eyes show this clearly. It would be best to obey him. Throws another pillow at his face. Stop staring at me like that then. If it sees his pillow thrown at him again. And that is the last straw. And he is extremely angry. After you threw the pillow at him, he immediately jumps out of the bed onto his feet. He glares at you with a sadistic expression, now rather than his normal sadistic smile and grin. He is extremely displeased. Yet, 
Yes, threw a pillow at his at her master. That's not good. This is not gonna end well. You disrespect this you disrespect me? Are you out of your mind, my dear? He is utterly and completely insulted. Theo says, What's the matter, Dark Angel? But your tongue sticks my tongue out. Meh. Infinite is furious. You have pushed him too far, much. You have pushed him too far. And unlike his normally acts, he is now going to make you pay. He is trying to fight her way out now. Let's see if she wins this. Oops. Let's see what that one says. He walks over to you and grabs the top of the blanket. He then rips it completely off. Your body is now completely exposed to him. Infinite remains completely silent as he stares at you with his glowing red eyes. His sensitive expression still remaining on his face. You are now completely... Oh, it's censored. That's what it is. But it's going to continue. Infinite's demonic smile gets even larger as he continues to choke you. His grip tightens further. He is enjoying the feeling of having you at his mercy and is happy to see you struggling. Gio's struggles. Infinite then turns to you with his sadistic, growing, grinning face and skull like mask covering his face. He then leans down into your face and speaks with an evil, sadistic voice. Mm, do you have anything to say? He squeezes a grip on your neck even tighter now, as his sadistic face is even closer to you now. His eyes are still grow glowing bright red. He is enjoying his power. He enjoys the way you are completely at his mercy. His grip continues to tighten. Gia says, uh, no, no more. Infinite then leans close to you. Your face now is right next to his demonic, sadistic, skull-like mask. In a low, deep, demonic, and sadistic, voice. He whispers these words in your ear. And you can feel his breath on your face. As your eyes grow even wider from seeing the sadistic face right next to you, even so, up close, he is still smiling sadistically. Now, what should Infinite do with you? Gia slowly closes his eyes, about to black out. Infinite's sadistic smile continues to grow wider as he watches you fall conscious in the script after you close your eyes. Your body limps and slurps, slumps in his grip as you fall unconscious in his arms. He then puts your unconscious body down on the bed and looks at you with his, with his glowing red eyes. Hmm, my dear, it seems though you let me knock you out. Now, what should I do with you now? Hmm, I wonder what would be the most fun. Gia is gasping for air. Infinite leans over you. Um, Infinite leans over you as your eyes open from being unconscious. His demonic, sadistic, and skull like mask covering his face completely now. His glowing red eyes now in full view. 
He stares down at you with an evil sadistic smile. And he still has his sadistic grip on your neck. He has kept his grip on your neck just in case you wake up. She is in trouble. And this time, I don't think she's getting out of it. Mmm. Seems like I woke you up, my dear. My apologies. So sorry. He is mocking you. He is clearly enjoying this. He has no remorse whatsoever. Gia looks up in his eyes as my eyes slowly get tired. Infinite lets go on your neck as your eyes look up into his glowing red eyes. He then removes his entire black skull-like mask, now revealing his aesthetically, demonically grinning face in full view. You can now see he his glowing red eyes and all the horror. He stares down at you with his aesthetic face fully revealed. Oops. Six hours later, if it has been watching you for six hours, as you laid on cartridge on the bed, you now wake up to the side of infinite with a physically, demonically grinning face fully revealed, looking down at you. You can now, you can see his glowing red eyes and they're the demonic and sadistic, sadistic smile. And his voice completely visible you, with you. Excuse me. You see a his masculine face looking down at you. His demonic, statistically grinning fully, face fully exposed. You can feel a deep feeling of fear within you as you see his glowing red eyes looking down at you. His aesthetic smile and voice that are completely visible to you. Infinite. So Infinite continues to stare down at you as you can see his glowing red eyes staring straight through you. His aesthetic grin stays on your face, on his face. It is clear that he's not happy that you have awakened. And he is happy to bring you more punishment and torment. And ladies and gentlemen, that is episode 8. That is part 8. Gia is now in the deepest of trouble at Gents Infinite. From throwing a pillow to being in trouble. What happens next? Find out in part 9 of Be My Servant by Gia the Dark Angel. I cannot wait to continue this. This is Francis the Hedgehog saying, don't forget to live life to the fullest. Don't complain and entertain. And make sure to drop a like and a share and subscribe. Especially for Gia the Dark Angel. For now, we'll see you in part 9. Alright, part 9.